Good morning guys, how are you all doing? I hope good. So, today is Friday. It is two days before we finally get going on uh, our trip to Togo, Nigeria and Gabon for our traditional wedding. Um, I'm very emotional this morning. I can't stop praising God and and thanking him really because oof, life is indeed a journey you know you never know where the next chapter is going to be about but with God you're sure to make the right decisions the right moves um, and have the right attitude to go through whatever life throws at you so this is me I am about I'm just cleaning up right now and yeah I am I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm so strong, yet so weak. I was such a crybaby. I didn't ever realize it, but hey, I am very, very, very grateful. Very grateful. I'm going to walk you guys through the whole process. Let's see, I'm going to walk you through my day, actually. So two days before my trip to Africa. Yes. And again, I'm going with my husband. It's his first time in Africa. So I'm pretty excited as to how his whole experience will be like. I'm not yet used to this vlogging thing, but hey. Oh, guys, and I got my, my eyebrows microbladed here in Vancouver, in Surrey, precisely. I did it on the 25th and today is like maybe two weeks, ten days ago, they're about. But this is the result. Yeah, I did it on the 25th. So that today yeah, this is this is exactly two weeks after. And this is how it looks two weeks after. I I am not liking the fact that the front didn't quite fade because this is ombre ombre brows it should have you know I don't know but anyways I can make this work so stay tuned for the next part of my day hi guys it is 11.08 p.m. I had such a long day after work I had to go to my sister's to try out my dress again and take everything I needed from her came home had something to eat starting packing again um, and I took a nap and I even had a nightmare y'all that someone stole my money um, my purse no the person took my bag with my papers and in my passport and everything with money took it away took the money out but returned the bag with the papers I don't know what that means maybe someone is planning to steal money from me I don't know but oh well um woke up from it prayed against it and I kept packing thank god my sister came around to help um, she did take a few luggages from me because I was a little over, um, over the allowed weight. Let me show you guys what she got off Amazon. It's called My Carbon. Here it is. So this here helps you to know the weight of your item. <gasps> I look such a mess. Oh, well, let's go. So here's the bag. One of the bag here is those I have two bags and about three suitcases there. <laughs> yes. So you put this across the bag and you hook it up. Right now I'm just using one hand so it's gonna be a little hard for me. But yeah, you hook it up here and you lift this. Lifting this would tell me how heavy the bag is. Ta-da-da. -da. See? 
it goes between 16 and 17 kg there about i won't do that for long because i'm tired so right now i'm going down to my car i have to clean out my car because it's staying outside and i do not want people breaking into it so i am cleaning it to make sure that nothing nothing is in sight and when i come back i have to work on my carry-on it's not just me michael's things too are in those luggages but when I come back, I have to work on both our carry-ons and yeah. The first thing, however, that I had to take when we're planning this thing is insect repellent. And guys, I took two bottles of it because I don't want to be bitten by mosquitoes. And I don't want Michael to be bitten by mosquitoes as well. We did pack a lot of gift items for a few people then again you know guys you cannot satisfy everybody so do what you can make sure you do your best and you do what you can you know when you're coming back home some people those people are like hey i hope you brought me this oh drop my stuff with my uncle oh that one this and i want honey 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 me coming back home already i planned on carrying things for my family are you aware if you want something else you send me the money and you probably pay for the excess luggage you know i know i will bring you a few things but i appreciate what i bring because it's my sweat you know what i'm saying so right now it's still it's 10 or 12 right now so i'm gonna go downstairs to my car pick up a lot more things and Hopefully, I'll be done before 1 a.m. I'm already tired. I want to sleep. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon. guys this is about how my day is going to end I am exhausted I thought I could finish everything before 1 a.m. but this is already 12 51 July June 8 I'm exhausted I need to take a shower and go to bed so but I just want to say a quick prayer before I go because um, we need the protection of the Almighty God in anything we do, anywhere we go. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for my life. I thank you for the people around me. I thank you. I thank you for those who are watching me right now. And I pray, Lord, that you guard every one of us. You guide us. You watch over us. You protect us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, as we're about to leave Canada to Africa, Lord, I pray that you go with us on the way, on the plane. You take control of the airplane, of the pilot, of the hostesses, of everyone that plays a major role during this flight. In the mighty name of Jesus, the plan of God, only the plan of God will come to pass in our life. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I know you're taking us down there for a purpose. Reveal that purpose to us in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. I am so, so grateful. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Even for what I believe you will give me tomorrow, I am thankful for it today. Yes, Lord. Thank you for my life. Thank you. I'm not quite where I want to be, but for a fact, I am not where I used to be. And I have you to thank for it. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Jesus. I love you so much. Thank you, Lord.
In Jesus' name, amen. Good night. See you tomorrow.